So early in practice, how are you looking compared to where you need to be for the season starting? Um, we've been making big strides, you know, all season. I mean, since since we got here in the summer, uh, everyone's, you know, just battling, trying to, you know, push through adversity. You know, coaches making sure we're ready uh, physically and conditioning wise, and uh, you know, we're just, you know, bonding every day, making sure we get that chemistry. So uh, we had we had a game today, you know. Uh, I think we go out and win, but you know, the more time we have before, you know, the better. So. A lot you, of new guys. So how are you guys all mixing together with all the new guys? Um, I think we're mixing great because at the end of the day, all of the new guys, like me, my brother, Warren, we were already close, you know, before we even came here. So it's already like a family. And uh, me being like an older guy, I know team chemistry is a big part of uh, us being successful. So we're trying to get that. Um, from the jump, so. When when you were in the portal, what drew you to Arizona State? What attracted you to come here? Um, really, co uh, Coach Hurley's play style. Uh, we pushing it. Uh, you know, we're able to play free. You know, this is guard guard university, so uh, you know uh, that was a really big uh, grabber. And at the end of the day, Coach is you know track record. You want to play for a guy you know who's played the game himself and is able to you know see the game differently. And so it's always. Um, great having a guy you can uh, look up to and you actually feel like what they're saying is, you know, beneficial to help your game. So. What's your perspective on this roster? Um, we have, we, we don't like anything in talent, man. At the end of the day, I feel like it's all, it's literally chemistry back to that. Um, because I played on other good teams, but the chemistry wasn't there. And so it just didn't quite to win. And that's the biggest thing. I always had good teams, but I've never won in here. It's my last go around, so winning is uh, of utmost importance. Like oh, cool. There's cool. enough uh, competitiveness yeah. to where nobody's going to have a guaranteed spot. Oh, oh yeah, and that's why I love it here because we really have two really starting fives. All ten, we got ten guys who can go, and uh, that's why I love it here. You cannot come in here any practice and think you can just, you know, uh, fake your way through a workout because you would get embarrassed, you would get you know, put to the side, and. Every day you had to come in, or your spot is in jeopardy. So that really keeps everyone, you know, at the top of their game. And uh, yeah, what's it like playing with your brother? Man, it's it's great, man. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Um, even in high school, we played against each other. So really, uh, literally. And so um, I was gonna go pro, but when he I heard that he wanted to leave Auburn, it was literally it wasn't even a uh, question. So yeah, it's been great so far. And we had a connection today, a little live pass, so that. That got me excited. <laughs> yeah. What were those head-to-head -head matchups like when you played each other? Um, they weren't very competitive. I went to the best school like in our area, and he he didn't. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we always won. But you know, our competitive rivalry was always you know real good because at the end of the day, it only mattered about us two going back at each other. So, um, now that we're here together, it's a it's the complete flip flop, and um, uh, yeah, it's just it's fun. Man. What are the things that you guys have to do between now and your first game to kind of make sure that you're in the best position for success? Um, only thing I would just say, make like literally everyone locking in, knowing that uh, the the season's right around the corner. We have to keep our bodies healthy. We have to make sure we eat right, make sure we sleep right, um, get our treatment every day. And uh, at the end of the day, um, the other team doesn't care if we we have nicks and bruises. We have to be ready to go at any time. And so. That'd be the biggest thing, and once again, chemistry. You know, just keep building that every day. You've been a scorer both places you played. Uh, I imagine you have to be very confident that that will translate into the Pac-12 level when you come in here this year. Yeah, for sure, man. I, I mean, I've been a scorer my whole career, and I've always, you know, got talked down on upon and like, oh, you couldn't play, do that at this level or that level or this level. Especially when my brother was at Auburn and I was still at Brown University. That would be his main thing, you know, uh, talking to me about. And that would always just, you know, get put fuel to my fire. And uh, now that I'm actually here, um, it took a long time, but, you know, I'm finally here. And, you know, I have no, no hate or animosity towards anyone. It's literally just time to show, like, what I've been doing for the past, you know, five years. So, yeah. Son of a Basketball posted a video of you after you hit a game winner and you were very competitive. What is that competitiveness side of your game? You're talking and that type of stuff play in towards – how you play? Um, that's literally, I would say my uh, my persona, my personality out there. Um, I really love the game of basketball, uh, regardless of if I'm playing or not. Like I'm very passionate about it, and I think that gives me an edge. It gives my opponent um, 
I'm always literally when when y'all see me play, y'all see I'm a fiery guy. Uh, you see me scream, yelling, and that's just because of my love for the game. And uh, it literally drives me, gives me energy to keep playing because it's hard to play. You know, scoring on offense, then you have to guard some best play on defense, get blocks. You know, you have to get that energy from somewhere. And so my passion for that uh, that really pushes me. You know, gives me that extra boost I need.